Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by Jakob the Lone Maltz. Today, looking at something that is a complete and utter ripoff of something from the U.S. from another microbrewery. Uh, <laughs> seriously, this is the biggest ripoff I've seen in a while. <laughs> um, Tuborg tried to do a ripoff of this on Carlsberg last year with the Tuborg Ultra Green. Uh, now, Royal or Royal Unibrew, I guess, yeah, that's the name of it, uh, has tried to do it as well. Because in the US, you have the Bud Light, Bud Light Platinum, which is 6% Budweiser. And you also have the Black Crown Budweiser, which is, what is it? More flavorsome, higher ABV, whatever. Now, Royal in Denmark have, has released Royal Platinum. <laughs> they even ripped off the fucking names on 6% as well. Like Bud Light Platinum. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, it's me. It's a strong pilsner brewed with water, barley malt, corn, glucose syrup, barley malt, and hops. Yeah, let's dig into this one. So, we got the Royal Platinum poured in our awesome fancy Looks like lager. lager. Yeah, well, it looks like every other Royal Lager. Yeah. And I'm sure it was even more, I'm glad we showed this by the way, but I'm sure it's even more pale. It's because it has the glucose syrup. That's usually just for coloring. Right? Yeah. But, um, it's really, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like lager. Yeah. Pale lager. I guess they call this a premium lager or yeah, whatever, but yeah, aroma. Very corn forward and cardboardy. <laughs> but it has a sweet note to it. Yeah. A, kind of, a really sweet. Um, it's surprisingly sweet anyway. Yeah, but. First thing I pick up is, but actually the alcohol isn't very dominant. No. There is maybe a hint of it, but yeah. But there's this kind I'm of getting thing. almost like a weird appley flavor, but then a little bit of that wet cardboard, and then also that kind of just maize or corn yeah. cereal almost. adjunct kind of yeah adjunct aroma. But I mean, it's just it smells like macro. Yeah. There isn't much. There, the, it has a smell of the generic, uh, what I almost would call a generic Royale smell to it. Yeah. I've drunk it a lot of Royale, and I know you have too. Yeah. <laughs> the classics and it, the, it, it's it's fairly cheap. <laughs> yeah. And you can buy it in bulk. For yeah. It's usually this is bulk beers that are cheap. But. Yeah. And, and it's, it's like Young Fuenegal yeah. here, which is a, a street just with bars and pubs, yeah. and clubs. This is the stuff they serve. Right, or, right, at least yeah, royal, yeah. But yeah. But yeah, the, the classic is pretty good. But it has this generic royal smell to it that I find in a lot of royal beers. Mm. Actually. Yeah, cheers. It has like a weird metallic. It, it, it just tastes like a royal. It basically reminds me of royal export. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the corny, but grainy. Then again, a rounder, in a weird way, a rounder uh, explorer, you think? Yeah, well, I think the alcohol kind of rounds it off. Of course, there's a bite at the end. Yeah, and then there's that it's cereal, grain, maize, adjunct flavor. And then cardboard is there, but it's not too bad. I feel like this probably tastes more than your average American macro kind of thing, but still, it, it's it's um, not particularly good. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but I can tolerate it. That meaning I could drink it at something like a festival where I'm pissed, like at Vakken, <laughs> or I like if I'm at a party somewhere. But this doesn't something I'd sit down to enjoy. This would be purely to get hammered. Mm. Um, and if it's as cheap as the other. I think it's a little more yellow, yellow but uh, oh, I think right. I paid eight kroners for this can. It's actually oh, kind of okay. expensive, but Sorry, yeah. So. Oh, all right. I oh, thought it, my thought is was if it was the same price as the other oil, oil yeah, 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 it would be a great alternative because this is a luxury. Right? It's a six percent luxury. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go thirty. I can tolerate it, but not something I would drink when I'm entirely sober and need a cold beer. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Okay. Only. A, for getting drunk purposes. <laughs> yeah, and cold. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna totally agree, and I can't really see any great other than thirty, maybe a little lower, but thirty is yeah, you definitely it's it's not it doesn't tolerable deserve, beer. It doesn't deserve <laughs> lower grade. Yeah, because it's not as bad as some of the stuff we've had on the fall beer tastings. Yeah, mainly probably also because it's in a can. I imagine this in the the green bottles would be with skunk and all the. <laughs> 
classic design, so that's weird. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, 30. And as you said, Toro bro, Toro bro. And if it was the same price as the others, and on 6%, this would be a good alternative to get hammered quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, especially if you're not good at oh, well, handling whiskey and stuff like that. Yeah, but well, <laughs> you have to consider those factors sometimes. Right, you do, especially with beer like this. Even so. though we're beer snobs. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I get drunk on Microsoft once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, guys, that does it for the beer review of the Royal Platinum. If you're gonna go get hammered and this is the only stuff around, pick it up and get hammered. That's the only recommendation I can give this. So, yeah. Or a beer to get hammered on. Or if have you, a six pack of uh, IPAs and then finish off with this when you can't taste anything else. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we usually do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, guys, um, let us know what you think of uh, the Raw Planet movie you've had. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another video.